Hey everybody, Mac and T from Fanfare here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Let's check out all of the new books that will be coming out tomorrow. Starting off here in Marvel, we have a super slam-packed shelf for you. Um, we have Amazing Spider-Man has a brand new paperback here for you. We also have Amazing Spider-Man issue number 92. There's going to be tons of variants and later printings on top. I'll try to do my best. Black Panther has a reprinting of issue number 3. We have Captain Carter issue number 1. Lots of... Uh, carnageized variant circling around there we also have a one in ten design variant moving over here we have a carnage black white and blood paperback collecting the whole series we also have conan the barbarian facsimile with a later printing of that daredevil Woman without fear second printing of issue number one devil's reign second printing we also have the new issue of devil's reign issue number five um, we have Devil's Reign Moon Knight, issue number one there. We have Devil's Reign Superior 4, number three. Eternals, number 10. Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, number five. Up top, we have Marauders and Moon Knight, uh, later printings, as well as a Moon Knight Marvelverse book there. We have the man himself, Frank Castle. back, baby. Jason Aaron's writing it. Check it out. It's been so long. Too long. Punisher's back in biz. We have Sabretooth, issue number two. We also have Savage Avengers paperback, as well as a reprinting of She-Hulk, number one. Silver Surfer Rebirth with a second printing as well as Silk with a second printing. Spider-Gwen, Gwenniverse. It is a new number one title featuring a whole lot of Gwens. We have Star Wars Crimson Rain issue number three, as well as Star Wars Han Solo and Chewbacca number one. We have Strange Academy number 17, Carnageized Momoko cover. Hulk, I'm sorry, not Hulk, Thor issue number 23. Looking pretty cool there. Timeless number one with its third printing. We have a new issue of Venom. Awesome stuff. Women of Marvel. A not sure if it's a one-shot or a series, but check it out. It's pretty cool. We also have an awesome Jubilee cover. X-Men Deaths of Wolverine issue number four, as well as X-Men Lives of Wolverine issue number four. And X-Men Legends and Travel of Magneto Paperback. On the DC, we have Batgirls issue number four. We also have Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries 12 of 12. Batman Urban Legends 13. Detective 1056. A, another little guy here, Green Arrow Stranded. We have Future State Gotham, issue number 11. I am Batman, number 7. Joker, number 13. One more to go after this. Uh, Justice League Legion of Superheroes, issue number 2. We have a Superman War World Rising paperback. Uh, Naomi, season 2, issue number 1. Fan favorite character is swinging back in. We also have a Nubia, which is a tie-in to a book that's going to pop up here in a moment. Uh, Superman, Son of Cal, issue number 9. Superman vs. Lowell, book 3. We have Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes Oversized Collector's Edition hardcover, as well as Teen Titans Academy hardcover, and Trial of the Amazons, a new limited series, and Nubia is part of that reading order. Um, beyond all of that, we have Why the Last Man paperback there to tie it all together. On to the Image Comics. We have Ant, issue number three, featuring Spawn. We also have book three, hardcover of Deadly Class. Good Asian has its uh, second to last issue. King of Spies has issue number four there. And a new number one from the team of Descender. This is Jeff Lemire, Dustin Nyan, or Gwen. I can never say it right. Uh, this is a little vampire book called Little Monsters. It's pretty cool. I'm excited to see where it goes. It's pretty cool. Uh, Monkey Meat, issue number three. This book is buck wild, and I love it. New Masters, number two. Radiant Red's first issue is right there. Spawn, issue number 30, with the classic homage cover to Todd himself, with Haunt on the cover. Sweet Paprika, number eight ties image up. Uh, moving on down here to indies, we have All Guts No Glory, Apache Delivery Service, Berserk Deluxe Edition 10, uh, Betty Page number one, with the, uh, the alien agenda Betty Page I should say, Broken Eye number one, Sumerian Hour of the Dragon number one, we have Crook Roll Tales of Alexandria, the final issue to the Bright Queen, we have Daisy number four of five, Draculina two, Evil Ernie uh, with awesome, awesome throwback cover, uh, Freeran, Beyond Journey's End 3. We also have Sergio Argone's Gru Meets Tarzan paperback. Hellboy, The Universe Essentials, and new one from AWA Upshot, Hit Me. Over here we have a hardcover called Hound. Pretty sweet looking art on there. We have Human Remains, Kill Lock, number one, Knights of Dinner Table, Lady Mechanica, Last Flight Out. We have Lucky Devil, uh, Lunar Room, Merlin and Hector. Over here we have two volumes of Mao, issue number, or sorry, volume number three and four. Norse mythology number two, Perhapanauts number one from Black Caravan. We also have Primos from AWA Upshot Again, and Red Room is back for all the depraved crazy nonsense. Check it out, new series. And various to choose from. 
Over here we have Red Sonya, black, white, and red, issue number eight, Seven Secrets. We have Toilet Bond, Hanukkah Kun, Zero, Unbelievable Unteens paperback. We have We Live, Age of Paladians, and it is uh, black and white. I'm not sure what the difference is. We have Wilder, World War Three, and Wind. And that is Indy. On to the media comics, a little bit of kids and a ton of toys. We have Buffy the Last Vampire Slayer number four, Elvira meets Vincent Price five. We have a new Firefly paperback, Life is Strange Settling Dust number four, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 17, Rick and Morty Infinity Hour number one, as well as the Annihilation Tour paperback. For Star Wars, it's again Crimson Rain and Han Solo Chewbacca. A little bit of kids and again, toys. Animal Crossing, Deserted Island Diary. Pretty cool. Betty and Veronica, Friends Forever, number one. And Kanto, the graphic novel. Kirby Manga Mania, volume number four. Pokemon Journeys, volume number two. As well as Sonic the Hedgehog, number three. Okay, so starting off with toys today, we're looking at some Funko Pops. We got a super ginormous Batman from the new film. It's pretty cool. We're also looking at some Walking Dead for Carol and Daryl. From Book of Boba Fett, we have Fennec Shand and Simpsons, Lissandra. For NECA, we have the Frankenstein's monster in color this time around, as are, rather than the black and white version we've had before. The Storm Collectibles Reptile from Mortal Kombat, absolutely fantastic looking. We have a Back to the Future 2 Ultimate Doc Brown, the super slick feature shades. As well as from the boys, we have Starlight, just absolutely realistic likeness, it's so cool. Iron Man statue from Gallery Diorama, really cool. We have a NECA Ultimate Cloth figure. This is my bloody Valentine. Really cool. A little, little cutie pie ghost face. Looking so cool. We also have a giant statue of Brawly from Dragon Ball. And a character here from Demon Slayer. We have G.I. Joe Puzzle, Thousand Piece, of course. A poster portfolio book of Batman Dark Knight's Metal. Lots of stuff to choose from. All of the prints are perforated. They're easy to remove and perfect size to slap in a frame. We also have some variants to show you here. Spire Gun Gwenverse. This is the Romero variant, one in 25. We have Star Wars Crimson Rain number three. The Nakayama variant, one in 50. Star Wars Han Solo Chewbacca, the Hughes variant, one in 50. And to tie it all together, Punisher number one, the one in 50 Bartel variant. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, reach out to us at the store. It's 269-349-8866. Have a good night.